What is good everybody, today we are back with brand new wrestling and WWE action figure news. These are things that have came up recently, some things that were revealed on us yesterday, and some things that I never touched on that I never got a real reason or video to discuss some topics, and it's a few different things, but it's definitely stuff that we gotta discuss. It's some, it's just some amazing things, and we're gonna break down all of the lore, of course, and break it all down for you, and dive into every single thing that we have today, man. So just buckle up, we got a Saturday morning WWE and wrestling action figure news video. Always enjoy these, you know, sit back, kind of podcast type for real. I mean, I, I feel like people probably treat it as a podcast at this point in terms of the wrestling news videos. You know, I don't sit down week after week one time and talk for an hour and a half about stuff, but, you know, I cover figure news so regularly that, you know, these 20, 30 minute sessions turn into just a, a regular podcast kind of, so I don't know. Let me know what you think. No, let's, man, let's dive into the first figure and we have better images of the new TMNT WWE crossover figures, and the reason I want to cover this first is because I did a short on this, but I genuinely feel that this may be one of the coolest things that Mattel and WWE and everybody has ever done. This is this figure right here specifically, talking about this Roman Reigns as Shredder. This might be one of my favorite WWE action figures ever made, and I'm not even a TMNT guy, okay? Like, I, I've gone into the lore a little bit on the channel before. I am not a massive Ninja Turtles fan. I do enjoy things from the Ninja Turtles time to time. Growing up, I did like the 03 Ninja Turtles. That's my Ninja Turtles. I like, I don't know, the logo's just better. I don't know. I like the edginess of it. I, I enjoyed the cartoon. I had the video game. It was a lot of fun to play, and I did have my Ninja Turtles phase, if you will, but I was never huge into it or, like, really just latched onto it, but I know a lot of people do, and that people love the Turtles, but this set right here is unbelievable, but this Roman Reigns Shredder, I think, is an all-time WWE Mattel action figure, and I think the same thing about the Cody Rhodes, which we don't have detailed images of that. This Roman Reigns, along with this Xavier Woods and this Kofi Kingston, are Series 1 of the Target-exclusive TMNT WWE crossover elite figures, and in Series 2, we're going to see Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, and Cody Rhodes, which are the figures we saw in the case at WrestleMania 40. So those are the different things there. If you're wondering what sets are which and all these different things, that is the thing. There's three per wave. There's six total, and these are just unreal. This Roman Reigns with all these bells and whistles, all these details, the shoulders, the blade coming out of the gauntlet, the Roman Reigns waist wrap with the belt. You got the mask. You have the scar slash tattoo on his face of Roman Reigns. I mean, even this artwork on the on the pack Packaging. This packaging is unreal, man. You have the cheese and the pizza on the top. It's dripping down. You have the TMNT logo with the WWE logo. You have the illustration of Roman Reigns as Shredder there with the sewer cap that actually says WWE on it. Then you flip it on the back and you have this like classic poster style with, you know, all the turtles being Kofi, Seth Rollins, and Xavier Woods, and Rey Mysterio coming up through the sewer with the lid being lifted up. And then you have Shredder, Roman, and Cody Rhodes as Casey Jones fighting him. Just unreal unreal packaging here, but I just thought that these figures, I know we've talked about them a little bit on the channel, but I had to put up the detailed images. I never put these in a video. Had to do so. Like, the cape on this Roman Reigns is unreal, and I know it's essentially repaints of, of attires they've never worn, but I think this is what action figures should be, and that's why I'm not always particularly obsessed with, oh, I gotta keep this specific figure. I have to keep it exactly how it was released, because there's things like this that exist where, you know, Roman Reigns never wore this. This is completely made up in fantasy, so I can mix up my figure parts and make something just badass and that's kind of what this represents is you know Roman Reigns is never dressed up as Shredder and but it, what if he did you know and that's kind of the basis of this line and I'm not big on what if lines like the Marvel what ifs I just think that's a scary thing because but that's different that would be like what if Roman Reigns dressed up as Seth Rollins and stuff like that? I think that's kind of a dangerous game to play when you get into that because then it's like, where does it end? Now, a one-off custom or something like that is a little bit different, but when you go into a whole line of figures and you get, you know, down the line there, that could be a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I think you may step off, step off there, but this TMNT line is unreal. I love this line. I think the Roman Reigns is just completely ridiculous. This is a top 10 elite of the year by far. It's not even close. This is definitely going to be in the top 10 elites of the year. 1,000%. Let's move on to the next figure in the set, which is going to be Kofi Kingston as Michelangelo or Mikey. And this looks pretty good, too. I like the nunchucks. I love the little stand that all the figures come with. And they're very similar to that Knuckle Crunchers, Roman Reigns, Kendo Stick Holder that we talked about in my short the other day, you know, where I said you could use it for your championship belt holders. Well, now you can use it. You can use these as that as well. Like, he's got the Ninja Turtle shell on the back. He's got all these different logos, the nunchucks, the bicep bands, the entrance vest, hoodie, 
just the sickest thing I've ever seen, man. And again, I am not even a, t a Ninja Turtles guy, but these are so badass and they're just so toyetic. Um, he does have the John Cena shoe mold. I didn't. He's he's a repaint of the Elite ninety six Kofi Kingston, but I just I don't really care for that lower leg because he doesn't have shin cut, and then he has John Cena shoes. That combination is going to be very very just annoying to pose around. But I do like the green hand tape and the different details. He's got the orange ponytail wrap or the head wrap there with the sunglasses in there. It's just a sick figure. I love the little hexagon pattern, little texture you're getting on the back of the vest or the back of the hoodie. Yep, these are, if I see these, it's going down, man. I gotta buy these. And I don't, I don't like Ninja Turtles all that much, man. I'm not the biggest Ninja Turtles guy. However, I might have to get a mint-on card set of these. I just might have to do it. These are just that cool. But let's move on to the last figure in the set, which is going to be Xavier Woods. And he is his Donatello here. And again, he matches Kofi very well. I love the... You have the stick there in purple. You do have the same deal where his hair, he's got the, the glasses or the sunglasses, whatever, they do wrap around like the head wrap. He's got this green and purple attire that looks so sick. And what's cool about these is even some parts, man. I mean, you could pop these kick pads off, put them on something else. You can make your own fantasy gears and things like this. He's even got the purple little wristbands on there. Maybe you could put those on a different figure or something to make a cool fix-up. That's so, really what this comes down to is you can use a lot of these different parts to make other fix-ups and cool figures, which we'll probably do on action figure surgery. And I'm just now noticing that he has his damn tattoo on the inside of the bicep. I don't know how they got away with that. And they have King Kai's gi symbol on the inside of the bicep. Shout out Dragon Ball Z right there. I don't know how they got that on there. I'm pretty sure. I guess it's because it's so faint that they missed it, maybe. I'm not sure. But that is King Kai's symbol right there. I'm pretty sure, like, to a T, that is the exact symbol. That's crazy, man. So shout out all the DBZ fans. That is a really awesome little touch that they added to the figure. Just now noticed that. Don't think they've ever done that before. Unless it's been on there before and I've never noticed it. That's crazy that they got, they got King Kai in there. That's great. That's honestly mind-blowing, but this Xavier Woods looks great. He also comes with his own, you know, stick holder or whatever the hell you want to call this, but I, I love that. Those little holders right there, I swear to Jesus, I'm putting them on. I'm putting title belts on them. They just look awesome, and maybe we can find... I hope they find other ways to put those on the line, but this is a great reuse of that. This this Xavier Woods looks amazing, but that is our full Ninja Turtles WWE crossover Series 1. Again, this is Series 1. Series 2 is Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio. It's Seth Rollins is Leonardo. You have Rey Mysterio as Raphael, and then you have Cody Rhodes, who is going to be Casey Jones, which I think is unreal. I cannot wait for that Cody Rhodes. That Cody Rhodes is something special. Right up next to that Roman Reigns with the mask and the hoodie. Oh, God in heaven. What an unbelievable figure. But now, guys, we are moving on to our next bit of news here, which is going to be a new ringside exclusive. And this ringside exclusive is going to be none other than Switchblade himself. We have Switchblade Jay White. This is going to be an AEW figure. First time getting Jay White in the line. I love the gear that they chose. And thank God, I was very worried about this. Jay White is a pretty ripped up individual and they actually did him some justice here. Now I thought they would use the Kenny Omega torso, but they are not. They are using the Ricky Starks torso it looks like. Now when I first saw this figure, I thought it was the Kenny Omega torso. I was mistaken and uh, that kind of took me by surprise. I thought they would use the Kenny Omega torso because I think it's it's definitely something you could do, but you could actually, depending on the skin tone, you might be able to just switch a Kenny Omega torso onto this to make it that, but this Jay White looks pretty damn good and they even released like a little video here of the figure itself in CGI of all things, which I thought was a very interesting thing. But if you take a look at this video, I'll play it on loop here so you guys can see it. It's Jay White. He it, This is CGI. This isn't stop motion or anything. I'm pretty sure they made this in a program. I don't know who the hell did this, but it looks pretty good. He's got the j red jacket. He has his switchblade necklace, which I think is sick. He comes down the ramp. He's got the, you know, the shooter hands. I love the attire. It looks like this is going to be textured. It looks awesome. I like the streaming head sculpt. And I think it is up for pre-order right now. So if you guys want this Jay White Switchblade figure, it does look pretty damn good. I'm excited for it. And if you look at the packaging here, it is going to have Switchblade in the middle of the blade in the middle. It's three different blades. In the middle, it is see-through, and you can see the figure through there. And then it is a slip cover where you can slide it up and reveal the figure underneath, and it will be positioned there. But I love the texturing on the tights. I can tell that that's going to be sculpted on there. I love the just the attire. This is one of my favorite Jay White attires, which looks really great and I actually had the opportunity to I didn't necessarily like formally meet him but I got a chance to be around him 
over the uh, AEW Ring of Honor weekend, and it was just so surreal to see, you know, to to be up close to Jay White. He's, a, he's an awesome performer, and this guy is, is great. I can't wait to get this figure in hand, and people are worried about this jacket being rubber. I do believe it's cloth. The reason that I say that is usually when the things are cloth, they have their own render, and it does have its own render here, and so, but then again, it is in the shot with the figure. Now, I do believe usually they show it on its own if it's going to be a cloth goods item, but it did show it, like, articulating in the video. Now, does that matter? That is CGI. So, I just thought about it. You could also put a Supreme Kenny Omega torso on there, depending on the skin tone, and you could make it into a Supreme Jay White. But that's not, neither here nor there. That's just something I thought of. But if this jacket is not cloth goods, that's going to be so damn disappointing. I hope to God that this is a cloth goods jacket. And I pray that that is the case, because it's, if it's not, man, that's going to be very, very, uh, that would be trash. Hopefully, it will be a cloth goods jacket. If it's not, I think you won't be able to buy it with the Switchblade arrow on the back. Like, you know, the, the PWR Luchas of the world, the Elite Threads of the world, you will be able to find a cloth goods jacket to put on your Jay White, which won't be a big issue. But it's certainly worth noting that if... Like, it articulates in the video, so I would hope that they wouldn't put that in the video if it couldn't. You know, I think it would have just showed him walking down the ramp, but they could just be trying to up the sales, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, but this Jay White does look good. I'm excited for it. Hope to uh, get this figure in hand very soon, and, you know, we have Jeff Jarrett coming, and then we have another ringside exclusive, which is coming, which is going to be AEW. It is going to be Jericho Housen. Now, not the most excited for this figure. It is just, you know, Jericho is Dan Housen, and I love Dan Housen, and I love... Chris Jericho in his own right, you know, say what you will about his entire career. You know, I've always like I've been a Chris Jericho fan. I know a lot of people were turned off by his later work, which I understand. But I think that uh, this is a solid figure. At least it's a little different. It's it's not my favorite figure of all time. But I think the head sculpts look good. I like the very one. I think he just wore this on the Jericho Cruise, right? He never wore this in, on AEW television, which is crazy. But tattoos look good. It is a repaint of a Jericho with some new head sculpts. It is what it is, man. I don't think it's for everybody. But it's a simple, fun release. And, you know, you buy it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't. And it is a ringside exclusive. You know, it's not in the main line. It's not all these things. So you don't have to You don't have to purchase it if you don't like it. But it's not my favorite figure of all time. But I think it looks pretty solid. I'll think, if I were to think Jericho in Danhausen form in AEW figure form, this is what I would think of. So I think that kind of checks the box there. You know, not my favorite figure. But at the same time, it looks exactly how you would think it would look. So I guess that covers that. But let's move on to the next figure, which is going to be an AEW figure. And it is going to be the pay-per-view edition Target exclusive Britt Baker. Now, this is very sweet. It's from Double or Nothing. You have the Owen Hart championship or the i can't remember exactly what it was called off the top of the dome but i love this packaging it has the pink foil it's got the pink dr Britt baker another Britt baker in the line which you know she does have quite a few figures here she definitely has the most of any female talent in aew but the championship looks good i think that it's pretty much a repaint of the unrivaled 10 Britt baker but it's a good repaint i love this gear this is probably my favorite Britt baker we've seen to date in terms of gear i like the you know the white the black the pink always ties in so nicely together she's got the black boots in there i'm definitely going to purchase this if I grab it. I just think that men on card, this thing looks good. I love the championship. You get a cool championship in there. I could even see people using that as their own championship and their own feds, you know, just because it's a cool looking championship. I think it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting release. I'm glad that we're getting it. I hope that we could see, you know, we've already seen the Target exclusive Adam Cole. I'm hoping that we get another Adam Cole in his pink gear because I think that would be a great figure as well. But Britt Baker looks good here. I think this may be her best AEW figure to date, not including the Supreme. So this one should be fun. I like the pink. The pink makes it automatic cop. I love how they change the foil colors. Changing up those foil colors and things really makes the figure worthwhile, I think. And it just makes it a little different. It gives you a, kind of a, another incentive like, oh, damn, that looks really good. So... I like that, but that is number two in our pay-per-view editions, but we also have a look at some new main event championship figures from WWE and Mattel. Now, these were posted to Ringside Collectibles, and I haven't even seen Series 1. I think they're like Kohl's exclusive, man. I know that and uh, they're not necessarily Kohl's exclusive, but people are finding them in their Kohl's stores. I think that people are finding them in their Sears stores or something. I don't know exactly. I can't remember, but I do remember people telling me they found theirs at Kohl's, but we do have the Usos here with the We The One shirts. If I'm not mistaken, is this not their WrestleMania 39 gear? I could be wrong, but they have their red sleeves. You know, Jey Uso looks pretty good here. I like these, and I like that they have the red socks coming up on the tights, but these are pretty good attires. I really wish that these would have been elite figures. This would have been better as elites than the... I know that they needed to complete their War Games looks, but these as top picks elites, or these 
as some sort of repaint ultimate editions would have been really awesome to see um, just because I love that WrestleMania 39 gear you got the red sleeve in there it kind of would have been an opposite look of the you know the first ringside exclusive Jay and Jimmy Uso but I don't know I like these I like these a lot I think they look really clean even though they are basics and Jimmy does have like the slick back hair instead of the braids down in his face or you know the different hairstyle I prefer that head sculpt over this one that comes on the figure but you could head swap it I guess but not the most exciting but it is the Raw Tag Team straps they have their WrestleMania 39 gears I believe I think this is their WrestleMania 39 gears but the last figure in the set is going to be Undertaker who comes with the WWE Championship and it's a solid basic you know at least they're, they're kind of, you know, we've entered into an era where they have this new main event series similar to what they've been doing with the Greatest Hits lines and all these different things. They're going to re-release old basics, updated, better, better head sculpts, better articulation so people can replace those basics of old and continue to make money. It is a business at the end of the day, so that's why we get all these Greatest Hits and Best Of Waves is so that they can re-release figures and give people incentives to buy it, right? So if you missed out on that first go-around, you can grab it now, or if you maybe you have that first go-around, but look, this one's better. It has interchangeable hands. It has double-jointed arms. It's got updated technology. Maybe they throw in a bell or whistle or two that adds a more incentive to the figure. So those are different things that you can look at there, but the last Last thing that we have here is going to be the Collect Forever Kenny Omega figure that got shown off. This is another figure that uh, is going to be embossed or encased in one of the acrylic cases. And I like these, you know, I think they look pretty damn good for the most part. I was pretty impressed with my CM Punk. I know that, you know, we always talk about this on the channel, how you got to be careful about... It's a very thin line that you have to walk because, you know, if they release something that hasn't been released before, it's, oh, well, I have to... I can't even get to it because it's in this figure encasing. But then if you release something that's the same in any way, it's, oh, it's just, look at this money grab. So I can completely see where people are coming from, but this is going to be the Supreme Kenny Omega... Well, I think it's the Walmart exclusive Kenny Omega tights with an AEW championship with a mic, and then it has the unrivaled forehead sculpt repainted, and then it just has a regular unmatched or unrivaled Kenny, o Kenny Omega torso. So it's not the biggest deal ever, but it does look good, and I think these are in stock. I think the rest of the figures besides the CM Punk are in stock. I did get two of the CM Punk, so I just have those chilling, and I was very impressed with mine. I, di I didn't do a big review, but I did do a short on my YouTube channel talking about it, and I think it's very quality. Like, it's, you know, it's it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I think if you got all of them up on a shelf, they look pretty damn good, and I know that it's not new technology or anything, but at the same time, they look pretty damn good. I, I like the way they look, even though I only have the one right now. I'm thinking about just biting the bullet and getting the rest, but I really don't have room to display them, to be honest with you, so I, I have a I have a room issue, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what goes on with it, but at the end of the day, I think that is every little bit of news that we have today. A little bit of everything, man. I always enjoy when we got a little bit of everything. We're not all just, oh, here's 60 new WWE images. We get some AEW, we get some WWE, we dive into it, you know, all those different things, so you guys can let me know what you think of all this down in the comment section below, and I don't even know. This is something, you know, like, there are, there are people out there, or podcasts out there, or you know, different things that cover all kinds of different figure news, like people will cover micro bra brawlers, or people will cover little, like, statue figures and different things like this, but I don't really cover those things because I don't really collect it, if that makes sense. I, I don't really want to get on here and talk about things that I, myself, am not personally invested into. So, I, like, first of all, it would just be, it's not something I'm invested into, so it would be just me talking about something that I have no, you know what I'm saying, inclination of grabbing or picking up. Unless it is something like that, and I, I don't even know if we've ever plugged stuff like that, but I usually just leave that off the thing and then buy it if I see it or something like that. But I'm covering AEW figures, I'm covering WWE figures, wrestling action figures, but if a figure stands out enough, I will be putting it in a video. Now, listen, man, that is going to pretty much wrap up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Enjoy your Saturday mornings, man. We have a lot of reviews coming up. We have the Super 7 Matt Cardona that I'm going to be reviewing. I am going to be reviewing the new Territory pack, the Mattel Creations pack. That's coming soon. And I got to review Legend Series 22 featuring the Hogan and the, the Captain Lou and all that stuff. So that all those reviews are going to be coming this week. You guys can let me know which one you want me to review first, but I will be reviewing all these we also have some really cool stuff coming this week such as we have my top 10 wwe mattel figures ever so that is going to be elites and ultimates obviously no basics are going to make the top 10 but you can look forward to that video my top 10 wwe mattels ever that's going to drop sometime this week as well so that will be my top 10 wwe elite slash ultimates that you guys can uh, let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below and we also have my top 10 wwe elites of the year so far so we're almost at the halfway point so i figured what better time WWE Elites of the Year, we're going to cover the best top 10 of the year so far from Mattel, so we'll get into that this week 
as well. So you guys can look forward to that. But that is pretty much going to wrap the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you fellas, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. I appreciate all the support. Never go a day without thanking you guys on these daily uploads most of the time. So I appreciate all of you, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Leave a like if you will. Try to get the video to 1,000 likes if we can. If it's not up there, you, you know, if you're just if you're still watching at this point, man, go ahead and leave the video a like. I greatly appreciate it. But I'm getting out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one.